Good morning, everybody. Um, today is Sunday, and um, right now I'm heading to my mom's. Uh, she asked if I wanted to hang out for a little while, um, which I said is fine, but I'm actually dropping Ella off at my mother-in-law's um, at 4.30 because that my husband's company's party is today, and I have to be there for six, and the house, the boss's house that's at, is about an hour and like 15 minutes away. So I need plenty of time to get there and it's during rush hour. So I'm just gonna drop her off at 4.30. So right now I'm not sure what we're actually gonna do today. Um, I'll try to make sure that I get the, um, because I guess at the party or whatever, there's gonna be like, there's gonna be like mini games and stuff and the employees can win. <laughs> the employees can win like days off and stuff like that. So I'll make sure that I capture a couple of those games on the vlog, but that'll be at the end of the vlog. So if you wanna see that, you can skip ahead if you'd like. Um, but that's pretty much all I wanted to update you guys about now. The vlog from yesterday is rendering currently, so that will of course be up this morning. Um, and I think, I think the accent check tag I also put up, um, but we'll see. I know I have a ton of videos that I've recorded. I just need to edit and upload, um, but I believe the accent tag is the only one that I have ready to go, so I might just get that up because I really don't have a lot of time today. It's already 11. I just packed Ella's overnight bag. It's nuts because packing overnight for a kid is just like packing for a week for yourself. It's crazy. But I'm getting used to like what I need, what I don't need, so I'm not overpacking. But regardless, it's still a lot of a lot of work and a lot of packing. Um, I'm not really feeling my hair today. <laughs> Yesterday, well, last night was hair washing day, which you saw in the vlog, where I was trying out the new, like, Frizzies shampoo and conditioner, and every time I wash my hair, I never like my hair the next day, so I should know that it should be a hair up kind of day, but I wanted my hair down, and it's not, like, super hot today, so I'm not worried about my hair, like, poofing up or frizzing or anything. Um, it's actually been a it's kind of cloudy. I feel like it's gonna rain. It looks like a rainy day, which would kind of stink. I hope it doesn't rain like while we're at the company party. I'm really looking forward to it. So, anyways, I'll keep you guys updated about what is going on for the rest of the day. Damn, I gotta put this like somewhere else because I'm constantly putting the banana one instead of the regular cereal in her food because I like to. Uh, thicken up her baby food by adding a little bit of the rice cereal, but I try to add like the regular one, but that is like the third, woo, third time I've added the banana one by accident. Um, I guess I can do a quick outfit of the day because you can kind of see it. So I'm wearing my Marvel, I don't want to get this wrong, I think it's Marvel, um, comic book shirt, it's like a short sleeve crop top, and then I'm wearing these um, like short suspenders okay this needs to come down a little lower <laughs> and then for shoes i'm just wearing these green <laughs> these green sneakers so quick outfit of the day i know my kitchen's terrible you don't have to tell me thanks you guys gotta check this out ready ella <laughs> are you gonna be camera shy no <laughs> She was just doing it back. Ella, don't mind the camera, baby. <laughs> I swear she was just doing it. As soon as I turn on the camera, she doesn't want to. I'm going to see if she'll do it. Ella. Okay, she doesn't want to do it. Come on. Okay, I caught it at least once. So I'm heading out to 
drop Ella off, but I have such a long drive, not to drop her off, but after that, um, but I'll probably just listen to my music. But I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit because um, I realize you guys see my kitchen a lot and like see what kind of shape it's in. Um, but I don't think I've ever actually sat down and told you the story of what happened in my kitchen um, and why it's so unfinished. So I figured this would be a great opportunity to do that. So about five months ago, um, I think it was like the end of winter, um, I was in the kitchen with, no, I was in the living room with my daughter and all of a sudden I hear the sound of rushing water. Like it sounded like someone had turned on um, a faucet in my kitchen. So I said, okay, that's weird. So I'm like, I'm assuming the kitchen sink somehow turned on. So I go inside my kitchen and it's coming through my ceiling, right above where my stove is, water is pouring. I mean, it was scary, pouring out of my ceiling. So I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I'm like, I have, you know, my baby or whatever. So. I, I, my emotions are rushing a million miles an hour. I have an anxiety up the roof. And I'm like, all right, what do I do? So my first thought is get the baby away from the water in case the ceiling comes down because it was that scary looking. I seriously thought the, the ceiling was gonna cave in where this water was coming through. So I put her in her um, swing at the time, strapped her in, and I'm like, okay, what could this possibly be? It's got to be an ice dam because we had an awful winter. I mean, a record winter. Um, so I know there was a ton of snow on the roof. So I'm like, all right, well, it's probably just, you know, water that um, melted from the ice and seeped in through the ceiling. This shouldn't last long. Well, about 15 minutes <laughs> into it, I, I found a... Um, a bucket I used it as my mop bucket and I would that guy's license plate says ant man that's funny <laughs> um I'm freaking out so I I rush and I'm I'm putting the bucket underneath the rushing water and I'm dumping it every minute or so the bucket is filling up so I'm having to run around my entire kitchen with pots and pans everywhere because now my entire ceiling is dripping water like over various spots in my kitchen, then I have that big rush of water. So I would dump the big bucket of water and then run and dump the small pots of water and then have to run back to the big bucket because it would fill up that fast. So I'm doing this for over an hour. So I'm panicking. Well, okay, like at the end I did it for over an hour. So like 20 minutes into it or so, I'm like, I have to get the baby out of the house. Um, so I grabbed her, mind you, it was still winter. I grab her. I don't have time to throw her in her winter stuff. So I threw a hat on her and I wrapped her around in a blanket, like a really warm fleece blanket. Now I was in leggings and a camisole and I threw on, I think, flip flops or like some kind of quick throw on shoe and ran out the door with her. Now the snow is like up to my waist. I mean, it was an awful day for this to happen. I'm running around to the neighbors that I completely trust and I'm banging on the door, trying to get somebody to watch Ella for, you know, a little while till I can get this figured out. I wanted her out of the house. Nobody was home. <laughs> So I run back home, obviously the buckets at this point had overflown, so I threw her back in her little um, swing thing. I'm frantically calling my husband and my, my father-in-law, my dad, I'm calling anybody who can possibly help me um, because I don't know what's going on. So what ended up happening is a pipe burst. Um, we were at a propane for a little while. Um, we were out of propane for a little while because the companies couldn't get out or whatever. So I don't know if the pipe had frozen or whatever. I don't know, but I know the house is just falling apart. So the pipe burst and water went 
everywhere. <laughs> so my husband rushes home. I am soaked. I mean, it looked like I just jumped in an ocean. I am soaked from head to toe. I'm crying hysterically. I have raccoon eyes because my makeup all kind of came off. It was the scariest moment of my entire life thinking that my ceiling was going to come down on me. Um, but I had my daughter in the living room, which was right next door. At least, you know, the living room was dry and I know that ceiling wasn't coming down. Um, but that's what ended up happening. So, the, you know, after that whole thing, my husband came home and he turned off the water main water line. And it was the um, pipe right above my kitchen is a second bathroom. That pipe had burst, so it came through my kitchen. So we had an adjuster come and stuff and you know they gave us money for a new kitchen and that's what I'm struggling with now is getting you know people to work on my kitchen so but I had never shared that story with you guys I don't know why I think it just never crossed my mind but just to give you an explanation I don't really have to but I want to let you guys know why my kitchen looks the way it does and it sucked it was the worst timing because upstairs we had started construction like we had started construction on her room and then a second nursery because we do want more babies and you know we don't know when the next baby is gonna come we don't know if it, you know we're not gonna have one till the next house or this house so we said you know what we're gonna build one whether or not we have a baby will add value to the house so we had started construction upstairs so then when the pipe burst downstairs is like well crap the upstairs is a total disaster now the downstairs is a total disaster and that's just where my house is at now <laughs> but uh, again I had never shared that with you guys and figured it was just interesting to share with you it, it was a good life lesson to know you know what to do and I was kind of proud of myself of course at first I was completely panicking and mommy mode kicked in the only thing I was thinking about is getting my daughter out of that situation but then once I kind of figured okay like that roof is the ceiling probably is not gonna cave in I was able to start thinking logically and be like all right like I just gotta tough this out until somebody gets here and I was just so, oh it was so stressful but obviously that has passed and now we're just kind of dealing with the backlash of that so if any of you have ever experienced flooding in your house or really any disaster in your house you know what I'm going through it's a nightmare but I know the end result is gonna be a beautiful brand new kitchen so I just gotta tough that out but I hope you guys enjoyed that really quick story so I'm gonna keep driving I gotta drop her off and then I got a long haul up to New London so I'm probably not going to vlog until I get up there and uh, I'm not going to like vlog like hey guys like uh, <laughs> I'm around all his co-workers I know some of them know I do YouTube but it's it's kind of an uncomfortable thing so um, like I said I'll get a couple clips of the games and stuff but that'll probably be it Are you getting this on camera? It's awesome. Some of it, yeah. I am I'm giving them the value this year because I won it last year. Yeah, no bitch, you're trading. I had to. <laughs> I don't care if you had. I told it. I thought I was going to go for this. I love the shit out of you. Step ahead, we got this. I might accidentally throw 
throw it really high. Get ready to run. One, two, three, toss. I was nervous about that. I'll protect you. <laughs> Don't worry, he's gonna get his later. Oh, please. I got a plan. I got a plan.
sports and like showboating. Are you guys are done. Yeah. 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 New London egg race. One, two, three, go! This is New London versus Hookset Championship for the egg toss. Yeah, 